But we're gonna start with something way less violent and crazy and way more cool and awesome. Michael Jordan's mansion. You know the one in Chicago, guys. Yeah, huge, huge, big mansion, like a palatial estate. Yeah, it's insane. It's one of the coolest celebrity mansions we've ever seen. He's been trying to sell this thing since 2012 and just hasn't had great luck. So now he has called in the big guns, the best of the best when it comes into celebrity real estate. And someone super duper famous, Maurizio from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Uh, you know, I, I know Richard's called? husband. He's amazing on Real Housewives. He's yes. like the favorite husband. They, yes. He works for a company called The Agency, a big time real estate agency. And he's working with a guy named Kofi Narti. And the two of them have just gotten Michael Jordan's listing. They are in charge of moving Michael Jordan's insane palace. And they join us right now at Teams of Hollywood Sports to tell us how they're going to do it. Guys, how you guys doing? Hey, how are you? It's great to see you guys. It's great to see you guys too. Now, uh, this must be such an honor to get Michael Jordan's house. I mean, he doesn't just trust his real estate with anybody. He went to the best of the best. What was it like when you guys got the word that he wanted you guys to try to sell this house? Well, you know, I'll start with that. And, uh, you know, I think we were super excited about this thing to be able to sell one of the sports, you know, one of the sports legends and iconic sports legends homes. Uh, it's just an absolute fun, it's an honor, and uh, we're excited to do it. This is the pinnacle, it's MJ, it's Jordan, it's one of those single name brands that's iconic around the world. So when we got the nod, we got the yes, I, I was ecstatic. And so the listing started at 29 million when it first went on the market in 2012. And now you've, you've changed the asking price, right? What's the strategy behind that? So we wanted to have a significant price for a significant property. It wasn't necessarily about trying to be in line with the market because the house just isn't. But if you take the numbers, 14855000 they total 23. That's and we think awesome. That's a lucky oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. That's it. When you're selling something like this, do you use the fact that it was Michael Jordan's house as a hook to maybe get somebody into it? Because whoever has that, it's a pretty, pretty famous you know, piece of real estate. Oh, I think without question, you have to use that as a hook. And it is a hook. I mean, the reality is that this is where the this iconic figure built an amazing uh, property, an amazing life, and, and, and I think that's super important. And now, now I, I usually see, like, on um, all the real estate shows, they ask people when they're showing the house to put away all of their personal items and, like, family photos and stuff like that, but because it's MJ's house, do you ask him to bring more of that stuff out? <laughs> well, we figure the person that buys this house, the first thing that they're going to do when they close escrow is text all their buddies and say, yeah. hey, yeah. let's watch Jordan's house, <laughs> right? And so, so it, it has to feel like Jordan's house. Now, what about the basketball court? Because I've seen the pictures of the basketball court. It looks unbelievable. Have you guys been there? And is it is it does it is it as cool in person as it looks in the photos? It is without question as cool in person as it is on the photos. It's exciting to walk on it. It's exciting to shoot on it. Uh, Kofi and I had a little one-on-one -on -one in our dress shoes when we oh, were there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Are you serious? Uh, you guys playing one-on-one -on -one on dress shoes on the court? Who won the one-on-one -on -one battle? You know I did. I, I, I have to say, I, I had to take it to him. I had to take it. To him. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Represent, Kofi. Guys, good luck with the house. This is so cool, and uh, thanks for joining us to tell us all about it. Man, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having us on board. Thank you. Cool, appreciate it. All right, cool. We'll talk soon.